Namani. A really easy way to start using Ghana language every day is by learning words for different parts of the body. Here are some to get you started. At the top of the body, we have mukura, which means head. Mukura. And yuka, which means hair. Yuka. Face is morki. Morki. And on the face, we have mudla, which means nose. Mudla. Mina is eye. Mina. Yuri is ear. Yuri. And chin is mutuata. Mutuata. Ta is mouth. Ta. In the mouth, of course, are the teeth. Tiala. Tiala. And the tongue, which is tadlanya. Tadlanya. Around the middle of the body is kundu, chest. Kundu. Mundu, which means belly or stomach. Mundu. And the word for back is muru. Muru. Karaka is shoulder. Karaka. Arm is tutti. Tutti. Elbow is tidni. Tidni. And mara is hand. Mara. Moving down the body, we have yarkul, which means leg. Yarkul. Knee is mamba. Mamba. And tidna means foot. Tidna. Now that you've learnt some Ghana language for the body parts, you can sing heads, shoulders, knees and toes. Mukada, karaka, mamba, didna. Why not grab a copy of Mukabandi, the Ghana body parts memory game from the KWP website and practice these new words with your friends and family. You can find it and other resources online at ghanawara.org.au. Nakara! I'm <laughs> sorry.